Commander, welcome back to Ayakath. I'm glad you're safe. What's the latest? The war's heating up with every passing minute. You didn't tell us you had company. Our trigger-happy friends sent these assassins, so I took them captive. I told you I'm no assassin. I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Ilara Dawn of the Republic. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. You're looking more potent than ever, my lord. Quinn? Is that you? In the flesh. What kept you away all this time? It's a long story, my lord. Best shared after we've quelled the Republic's petty offensive. Don't get ahead of yourself, Major. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you. In private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. I have so many admirers, and so little time. We'll keep this brief. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you, and my son, on Iogath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough! Supreme Commander Malcolm, Empress Asina. Your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. Why would you risk everything over a single weapon? I take full responsibility for the Republic's actions, but I won't apologize. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. Choose your next words carefully, Malcolm. I know you've spilled your share of Republic blood, but that's in the past. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon, and all of Iocath. The Empire is already my ally. Why should I break that bond to side with you? Asina tried to steal the superweapon out from under your nose. In my book, that's grounds to dissolve your partnership. He has a point. This is absurd. We acted to stop the Republic from raining destruction on our heads. Yours too, Commander. You once fought for the Empire as Wrath personified. Now you can embrace that power once more. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our empires can both partake in the spoils of Iokath. That's enough. I've made my decision. We will ally with the Sith Empire. A wise choice. Sith never listen to reason. Dorn, do it! For the Republic! She got away. We'll deal with her later. Commander, the Republic has launched their attack. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Quinn, we'll continue with this reunion later. For now, I need you to defend the Fleet Spire. With pleasure, my lord. The Republic's scum will rue the day they trespassed on Iokath. May the Force serve us all. Excuse me, my lord. We'll give you two a moment alone. Good luck on the battlefield, Commander. Victory will be ours. It's been a long time, Quinn. Too long. After you disappeared, I spent months on the hunt. Minister Lawman even heard about my crusade and ordered me to call off the search. He wanted the Emperor's wrath to stay missing. Naturally, I refused, and found myself in Imperial Prison. I was locked away for years, until Empress Asina pardoned me shortly before you retired, the poor minister. Yet still, you remained in hiding. I actually tried to approach you once, when you visited Asina on Drummond Cass. But I lost my nerve. I worried you'd never forgive me. For Darth Barras, for returning to the Empire. 
the past is behind us. If you'll join me again, I'd be glad to have you. Nothing would bring me more honor, my lord. I've already drafted my resignation from the Sith Empire. I'll fire it off, then acquaint myself with your new colleagues. If you require my services, you need only ask. I know you two have a lot of history, but he could be our traitor. The question is, do you trust Major Quinn? Quinn betrayed me once already. Deep down, I may never be able to trust him again. I'll put a tail on him.